check off this right now is more. I gotta go to Five Below, get a little few things for the office. First, I gotta take my sister's birth certificate, and then I'm gonna go to the mall and go to Target, go to Ulta. And I might be coming back and doing a little makeup video because I had a comment. I read all my comments, okay? And I seen the comment that one of the girls, she said that she wanted a makeup tutorial. I've had a few, but not really like full blown. Whatever case may be is though, first on the list, dropping my sister's birth certificate off. Unfortunately, my older sister, her family, my little sister was living with her at that moment. Um, she was a part of a, a house fire, so they lost everything. Starting over with things that you have no control over is very hard, but follow me. So I dropped off my sister's uh, birth certificate, got the receipt for it. So now I'm waiting for the bus to take me back that way and it's going to take you straight to the mall and again i hope y'all can hear me because there's so much ruckus and i was so quick to leave out without the darn uh mics which is crazy to me so i gotta get baking soda i gotta get shampoo i gotta get the risers for the computers or i gotta go to like either sephora or go to ulta one of these places that let's let them let them go back blow my blow my whole soul um, so yeah, I gotta go to either Sephora or Ulta to get the ordinary bottle, the toner. Without that toner, my face would not be clear. And I want to get a new face um, wash. Yeah, that's pretty much my what I'm gonna get. So the bus finally came and finally dropped my ass off. I'm about to finally get the freak inside. Ooh. Yeah, we in this whack ass place. They're opening a true religion store now. Growing up, I will always see the girls with their trueies going whatever is and i always wanted a pair but i never went so what i was not gonna do is get caught in and spend my little hard earned money on no jeans where i was still getting good fit in jeans anyways but they're opening one in kp so i can't wait i don't think it's open yet definitely want me a pair of chewy look at my favorite place yeah. so let's go straight into the office section i don't think i'll ever be used to people in my business when i got you guys out like why do you understand that girls trying to make money come on to say y'all have the clear ones so i'm gonna get two of these okay so i got what i needed i got a few things i'm gonna show y'all when i get there whatever when i get inside yeah, so i'm back home let me show you what i got i got me this so when i'm at work my phone is dead um i got these i got two of these and then i got then I got this because I have one, but it's pretty old. I also got me a new one, and I got me a bigger bottle because baby, going. Oh. I'm editing. Can y'all believe I got fired? I got fired. This is the first job that I ever got fired from. Usually I just quit because I'm always a type of fuck that job type of girl. I got fired. So let me show you my used to be office space. Hey Hoochies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm definitely giving y'all like old lady hair, but it is what it is. I love my little Bobbiana. Mm -hmm. I always tell you guys in every video, like, comment, share, subscribe, because I pay attention to all of that. It's a little channel over here, okay? A little growing channel. But I was going through all my comments because I just love watching or like seeing you guys interact with me in my comments, exchanging stories with me. It's, it's so, different and i see uh one of the comments the girl said her name is iman jefferson 829 she said i watched a few of your videos out of order and girl when i say you eat every single look you do like damn teach me please iman you commented and i listened one thank you very much thank you thank you very much I've been on my makeup and like my hair since high school. So I should know how to do it. As I get older, I'm about to be 30. I just turned 29 in June. I'm tired of wearing makeup. Like y'all, like I used to go to school every single day with makeup. Like there was not one day unless I was really tired or like really on my period. But Iman, I got you girl. I definitely got you. You said I was just getting back into doing my makeup after I had my daughter. So I just feel silly trying to do a full face. Girl, don't ever feel 
silly in your life to do a full face. And you know what? Let's just get straight to it. This is my makeup brushes. They are clean too. So y'all got me, y'all got me on a good day. And this is my makeup set. All my makeup is in here. Um, but yeah, don't ever feel silly. Like when I first started doing my makeup, I wasn't doing foundation. Foundation was not sitting well on my face. And I mean, I didn't know what was my foundation shade. And I had bought me like this white foundation. Patrocious. Patrocious. I was like, I'm never gonna do foundation. And I only started off with doing my eyebrows and concealer. Like even, even when it came down to powder, I didn't know which powder to get. It would be too yellow, it would be too white. It would be like, it's... A learning process before I start my makeup. I bought this new Milani um, lip plumper. As you can tell, it's almost gone. And I use this beforehand. It just makes your lips so juicy. I've always told people, do not go get lip fillers. Lip fillers are for the white women. No offense, white lady. Get yourself a good lip plumper. I just bought that Milani, but I usually get faced lip injection. As you can tell, nothing's in here. These two to me, Whew. It does, it does its job, okay? So I start with my eyebrows, okay? I use this LA Brow Gel. I haven't done my eyebrows in forever. Every time I do my eyebrows, they do the absolute most. They take all my eyebrows, my eyebrows are really thin. So I just brush them into place and let it dry. And then I go in with, this is the Milk Hydro. Well, I didn't buy this. I think like on my birthday, I went around all the stores in the mall and was like, yeah, what can I get for free on my Saturday's birthday? <laughs> I advise you how to do that. So I got this for free. The Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I like this. The video when I went to the um, beach, that video shows you like my morning routine. But now you take brow with, you use dark brown. What I do is very lightly, sometimes I first use the concealer and clean out my outlining, but today I'm just winging it. It's nothing crazy. First start off with my tail because I just want to make sure like it's very defined. And then I do like strokes. In the front, I just try to like very, lightly add a little bit more definition if i have any emptiness fill it in so now i do the same thing on this side i also outline the bottom because your concealer is gonna always clean it up i'm a cheap girl i do cheap things and play with your mother if you want to so my favorite concealers that i use are milani but the girls know it in my b-i-t-c-h since i started this okay nobody can tell me nothing about la pro concealers you want to be fancy and get yourself dior and something tillsbury whatever y'all want to go ahead and do that y'all can go ahead and do that me i'm gonna stick to what i should know so this i don't i use this for my under eye these i use this for my brow then you just outline your eyebrow the shape of your eyebrow i'm not a girl who knows how to even draw straight lines at all but if i can do it you can do it too it's so simple i do both the bottom like i said follow the shape and you bring it in like that you could do this with either a brush or with a beauty blender whatever however you feel is more comfortable i mix it up i don't have like a specific way of doing certain things you really want to blend out start from the edges like all the way out here and work your way up and then bring it up a little bit too and then do the same thing for the next side so that's the eyebrows don't worry it looks right right now but we're gonna get it together so let's try this new foundation out this is maybelline 30 hour foundation and it's in 330 and it's called toffee caramel you get a dark foundation. You can use it on the outside of your face. And then you use your lighter concealer in the inside, blend it together. If you have a lighter foundation, you do the opposite. Keep the foundation in the inside and use either bronzer or a darker foundation on the outside, okay? It's all about knowing your face. So let's see how this looks. My first time using this. Sometimes you gotta mix your color to find your perfect one. Me, I don't be having time to be mixing colors. And makeup, you can make mistakes. You can always take it all. Don't stress yourself. So now I'm gonna use both of my Milani concealers. The one that's, one is in 150 neutral sand and then 125, which is a light neutral. And I'm only gonna put a little bit in the middle. The milk primer came with the milk bronzer and it is in bake. It's matte 
bronzer stick my under eye dried enough and then I blend it out while I'm looking up I hold the thing up here and then I blend it down one size I think this is called one size and this is in translucent my OGs this is black radiance okay this is what I love so I mixed them both and dip the beauty blender had it on the back of your hand and then do the, the rest of it you put it on your eyebrows and your eyelid that to me just stamps it sick it right it stays right there you want to be extra go like this and that takes the small lines oh wait supposedly listen i used to be like no weed left behind no powder left behind you use every last one of it i know they said like these things have an expiration date sadly not with me now i use this mac bronzer bronzer in deep dark deep i use a brush i don't use contour because i don't like how contour looks on me take that same brush that i used for my to blend out I use it for my contour. I use the same bronzer for my eyelids. So I'm not a big eyeshadow girl, but I does what I do. I just, to make it look a little different, I'll pat on a whole lot at the end to make it look darker, but then lightly touch the rest and then bring it down to your nose. So like that, for your eyebrows, right? Take your eyebrows and bring it down to your nose. That's how you even get like a straight contour. So again, your nose, into your eyelids into your eyebrows and again pack it on at the end and then blend it out blend 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 i have like a little cute mole right here and i always bring it back i get an eyeliner this is the elf eyeliner and i just bring my little mole back i love it for mascara i use the kiss <sighs> Sorry, y'all, this is ghetto, but I get my stuff from Family Dollar. I get my stuff from the hood, okay? So they just don't be playing about that still and stuff. So this is the Kiss New York in the color dark brown. Before I put this on, I'm going to use this Maybelline Great Lash in clear. I'm going to use that first, then put this one on. These are what keeps my makeup alive. Okay, the Revolution Super Fix Super Hold Misting Spray. And then when I finish drenching my face with that, and matter of fact, let me drench it now so I can show you because I got like one minute to store it. Again, don't my mind on it. I drench my face. Then take the same beauty blender. I let it cool air out a little bit. So I'm gonna smudge, right? Air it out a little bit but take that same beauty blender and pat this bitch down. Do you understand me? To me, this brings the whole look together. So I'm not gonna lie to ya, I have no time or no patience. I had to whip out my phone, go old school on ya because what the freak? What the freak, y'all? Um, This is so annoying. Nobody even understands how annoying it is that either your mic dies, your camera dies, or there's no storage on it. And then I have to get up now, take the memory card out, put it in the computer, and... Oh, it's so extra. But like I said, I use this. Another thing I want to start getting into is curling my lashes. I have the, the lash curl, but... I just be like completely skipping that step. You know what else I forgot to do? Put some some blush on. I got the blush from Julius to outline my lips. Y'all, I was trying to get a new one, but I was so lazy to go back inside. This is the MAC. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Cork. I know it was one of them, but I love it. I love it. I just Don't look at my way. Cause from back here, you can't tell us away. You would think that this is my hair. But up close, you can tell it's not. And then another favorite of mine, it is the NYX Butter Gloss. Yeah, put that on top of that limb plumper. Child. Your lips look luscious. And you brush out your hair a little bit. It's giving very much. Nice little perm wash and set. You know, bumped at the end a little bit. Am I, you know, giving a stylish burn my hair with the high comb? But it was me. This is a really easy, pretty, affordable look, if I do say so myself. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I hope 
that I answered your question. I'm going to fix my camera, well, the storage, so that I can have a little story time for you guys. If you do like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Share with your friends, share with your family, share with everybody on Instagram, on Facebook, all of that. Um, you guys can follow me on all my social medias, which is TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, duh. Um, and it's the Hillary Effect. Please, please, pretty, please, pretty, 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 please, with a cherry on top, subscribe. I am at 800 um, subscribers right now. I'm trying to get to 1,000. Click that notification bell so you are notified every time I post a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please don't miss it because we are talking about God. Who don't love God? Stay tuned. The video's coming very, very soon. Bye, guys. Look how beautiful. The one thing I love about winter is that they have beautiful sunsets. God is the best creator ever.